Ready for an incredible voyage into the realm of the underwater world? Buckle up, because in this episode of Jolly Ghoul's latest series, Earth's Rhythm, A Balanced Outlook, we're going to do a deep dive into the captivating world of corals. With a sprinkle of fun facts and a dash of delightful surprises, this series promises a joyous journey, as educational as it is entertaining. Let's embark together! Welcome to Coral's Fun Facts, a radiant exposure to the diverse and wondrous ecosystems thriving under the sea. Hold on to your seats as we delve deep into the oceans, unraveling the enchanting beauty of corals, their unique modes of reproduction, and their inspiring ability to bounce back from disturbances. Bet you didn't know this, but corals aren't plants, they're part of the animal kingdom. And despite looking like stationary rocks, they're bustling with life and complexity. And how about this? Corals can reproduce both sexually and asexually, proving that they really can have the best of both worlds. Aha! Uh -huh. Here's another exciting nugget of knowledge. Corals demonstrate an incredible capacity to recover from both natural and human disturbances. Yes, that's right, our oceanic friends aren't just passive victims. They're active, resilient, and brimming with vitality, displaying a knack for bouncing back, given the right conditions. Okay, so here's what's on our fun fact menu. 1. 3 in 1, corals are one-of-a-kind creatures, embodying aspects of the animal, plant, and mineral kingdoms. They are animals, belonging to the phylum Nidaria, they are in a symbiotic relationship with a plant zooxanthellae algae, and they create a mineral structure, calcium carbonate skeleton. 2. Masters of construction, tiny soft-bodied coral polyps are the architects of the colossal coral reefs. 3. Ancient wonders, some coral reefs have been around for thousands of years. The Great Barrier Reef, for example, is thought to be between 500,000 and 2,500,000 years old. 4. Nighttime Snackers, many corals extend their tentacles to feed when the sun goes down. 5. Chameleons of the Sea, corals bleach white when stressed, but given the right conditions, they can recover and regain their vibrant colors. 6. Majestic Giant, the largest coral reef in the world, the Great Barrier Reef, can be seen from space. 7. The Spectacle of Coral Spawning, did you know that many corals have a synchronized spawning event, filling the ocean with a massive cloud of eggs and sperm? Now that's what we call a love cloud. 8. Double Roll, many coral species are hermaphrodites, producing both eggs and sperm. But, some are distinctly male or female. 9. Solo Party When it comes to reproduction, corals can go it alone, duplicating themselves asexually a pretty nifty trick, don't you think? 10. Slow and Steady Corals may not be the speediest growers, but they're persistent, adding a few millimeters to a couple of centimeters each year. 11. Under Threat Despite their resilience, Corals face challenges from pollution, overfishing, climate change, and destructive fishing practices. 12. Biodiversity Bonanza Though coral reefs cover less than 1% of the ocean floor, they house about 25% of all marine species. Talk about being a bustling underwater city. Now let's talk a little more about the dangers corals are facing. The primary danger facing coral reefs is warming oceans. Rising ocean temperatures lead to coral bleaching, a stress response in which corals expel their symbiotic algae, resulting in a white appearance and, without recovery, eventual death. Acidification of oceans, another consequence of increased CO2 levels, also poses a severe threat, as it hinders the ability of corals to build their calcium carbonate structures. However, amid these challenges, stories of recovery provide a glimmer of hope. For instance, the reefs around the Seychelles Islands in the Indian Ocean experienced severe bleaching during the 1998 El Niño event, losing up to 90% of their coral cover. 
However, these reefs showed remarkable resilience, recovering to pre-bleaching diversity levels after 17 years without substantial human intervention. On the other hand, human-led efforts have also made a difference. The Apo Island in the Philippines is a shining example. Faced with reef degradation due to overfishing, local communities implemented a marine protected area in 1985. Over time, not only did the reef recover, but fish yields also increased, demonstrating that sustainable practices can restore marine ecosystems while benefiting local populations. The Great Barrier Reef, located off the coast of Queensland, Australia, is the world's largest coral reef system. It stretches over 2,300 kilometers and is home to an abundance of marine life. Despite its size and ecological importance, the Great Barrier Reef has faced significant challenges. Between 2016 and 2017, two consecutive bleaching events affected two-thirds of the reef, causing widespread death of corals. Coral bleaching occurs when stressful conditions result in corals expelling their symbiotic algae, which provide them with food and give them their vibrant colors. Bleached corals are not dead, but they are under more stress and are at risk of dying. In terms of recovery, both nature and humans are playing a role. Parts of the Great Barrier Reef have shown some capacity to recover from bleaching events and other disturbances naturally, although this process can take a decade or longer and is dependent on other environmental conditions being favorable. These stories of resilience serve as reminders of nature's incredible ability to heal and the difference thoughtful human intervention can make. However, they also underscore the need for comprehensive measures to mitigate the threats corals are facing, to ensure the survival of these vibrant ecosystems for future generations. We hope you have enjoyed this micro-documentary. A balanced perspective is at the heart of Jolly Ghoul's approach, acknowledging the important need to protect our environment, while also stressing the importance of faith in nature's resilience. We weave this philosophy throughout the series, reminding ourselves that alarmism often leads to despair, not action. Instead, we promote a healthy respect for the environment, a measured understanding of the challenges we face, respect to listen to alternative viewpoints and ideas, and an unyielding belief in the natural world's capacity for recovery and renewal with and without human intervention. Thank you.